Hey everyone, I hope you guys are all keeping well. I'm back with another beautiful beach workout video. We're going to be doing a 25 minute full body workout. And in this class, we're going to be focusing on all the parts of the body just by staying on the mat. And without any further ado, roll out your mats and let's begin. We're going to start the class by standing to the length of the mat, going in for a quick warm up as you inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, fold yourself forward, inhale up and exhale forward. You can bend your knees if that feels good for you, but try to reach down working to stretch your legs. Two more of this. Breathe in nice and deep. Last one. Now hold it up, palms together, going in for the back bend and relax forward. And now I want you to grab your right leg, pull the knee in towards your body, work on your balance and switch for the left leg. And legs down, hands down to your waist. I want you to circle out your hips in the clockwise direction first. And switch to the anti-clockwise for five counts. And for the QL lat stretch, I want you to drag your right hand down to your body. Extend for the left side body. And switch stretching for the right side beautiful stretch for your sides here wonderful work let's start with body weight squats you're simply going to squat down and raise yourselves up we're going to do 10 of this keep breathing through and make sure your knees don't fall beyond your toes sit down nice and deep as far as you can get three more of this keep pushing through Wonderful work. Next move, I want you to hinge yourselves from your hips. You're going to press down for a back press and drop down. Up, reach, back press and down. Beautiful work here for the arms, for your back, as well as for your core. If you're engaging your core, pull the belly button in towards your spine. Five more. Keep pushing through. Wonderful work. Now, arms right in front of your head. We're going to do the same body weight squats, but this time two pulses down and raise yourselves up. Again, we're going to do 10 of this. Work at your very own pace. Count for yourself. You don't have to follow me. Just work listening to your body and you can do as slowly as you can. Nice deep squats. Working for your legs, your booty, your core. Beautiful total body work here. And slowly as we plant the hands down, we're going to walk to the length of the mat. Get to a nice strong high plank. Keep the core pulled into a your spine, your feet together if that feels comfortable for you. Stay nice and strong. Last 5 seconds of this, keep breathing out with your mouth. And slowly bring your knees into the all fours position. Going in for a quick cat in the cow stretch. I want you to arch your back, just gaze up to the sky, and I want you to rock yourselves back and forth deeper into the back stretch to relieve any tightness or pain. And curl yourselves down as the chin drops down to the chest, reaching the spine up to the sky. Rock yourselves back and forth. Now reaching back again to the full plank, nice and strong. We're gonna go in for a dynamic move. I want your feet together. You're gonna sit back on the balls of your feet like so, pulling the knee in and return back to the high plank. Inhale, pull back. Exhale, get to the high plank. 
I want you to do this at a very slow pace. Do not rush it up. Working every muscle of your body. This is a total body work here. Dynamic move, working for your legs, strengthening your glutes, your back, your core, your arms. Three more of this. Take it nice and slow with me. Now as we flow forward to the center of the mat, knees down, going in for the upward facing dog stretch. Just gaze up to the sky. And flexing the toes underneath. This time you're gonna get yourselves onto the elbows, resting the hands a bit. We're gonna work on toning the legs and the booty region. Your knees together, I want you to lift for your left leg. Bend the leg, point the toes underneath. Extend the leg out, bend and bring it back, tuck it in towards your body. Up as you extend and in as you tuck it in. Breathing is important. This is a Pilates infused move working for your core. So keep your entire body nice and stiff, just working for your leg, isolating the rest of your body as you keep the breathing cycles going. Push it through for the last one. Now I want you to extend your leg. Just hold it here. Not down as of yet. You're just going to pulse your legs up. Up to the sky for five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Tuck the leg in. Just take your time to switch for the right leg this time. You're going to bend the leg, extend it out, bend it back, and tuck it into a your body. Every move you're thinking to do it nice and precise. More than how many you're doing, it's about the quality of each move. So seize that move. Do it nice and slow. Last 10 seconds, pulse it out for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Great work, you guys. Rest down for a bit. Child's resting pose. Get your glutes down to your legs. Extend your arms in front and drop the forehead down to the mat until you hear the next beat. And you are getting back onto the tabletop position. We are going to be doing knee planks for this. Open your knee to the hip distance. Flex the foot underneath and press your palms down as you reach your knees up to an inch of the mat. Not too much. Please maintain the same tabletop position on your spine here. No arching of the back or no dipping. Hold it for five, four, three, two and last one relax back down we're gonna go in for plank walks i want you to do this nice and slow with me get to the high plank and walk your hands down towards your legs and reach back for the high plank make sure you complete each move drop to the full high plank we're gonna do five more of this Great strengthening work here, great toning for your body, building up that long lean muscles, making you look nice and toned. And as you reach back, I want you to just press yourselves down, working towards your legs, stretching for your back and your legs. And now to the center of the mat, I want you to spread your legs out wide, hands taken right behind your head. You're going to squat down for the plie squat. And you're going to hinge yourselves left and right. Make sure you don't slouch yourselves forward. Just working on your obliques here, so your side waist. So you're targeting that spot as you hinge left to right, trying to reach the elbow down towards your legs.
and now just hold it down hands taken in front suck the core into your spine i'm going to work on lifting your heels up and down alternating your legs this is a great toning for your inner thighs toning your legs and relax pull your legs back into the center march it out and let's continue the flow to the length of the mat just march your hands down get to the all fours position we're going to be working our obliques for the next one you're really going to enjoy this i want you to extend your left leg out to the mat your right leg is still in bring your hands together and you're going to reach your right hand up You're going to tuck it in and extend it out. Try to reach your hand to the left side and reach your hand up to the sky. So this is an oblique work. I'm sure you're able to feel it. Great work for your sides for the muffin top region. Let's complete three more of this. And switch this time you're going to extend for the right leg bring your hands to the comfortable position as you find your balance reach the left hand up now rotate your spine tuck it down and reach it back please complete every move breathing is important watch my breathing here I'm exhaling out with my mouth as I rotate my trunk Three more to go. And relax. Great work. Pressing the palms down. I want you to drop your chest down to the mat. We're going to go in for some back strengthening work now. Point the toes underneath and bend your legs. Fold your hands, place your forehead down. You're going to lift your legs off the mat just an inch, activating your booty region, your glute region. You're going to open your legs out, open it to a V shape and close it back in. Point the toes underneath. And this is a great work for your lower back, strengthening your muscles and toning your glutes. Last one and relax. Next back strengthening exercise, we're gonna go in for swimmers. Point the toes underneath, lift your legs, extend your arms right over your head and just pulse your limbs out. Make sure the gaze is down to the mat, keep exhaling out with your mouth. Last five seconds to go. Three, two, and last one and relax pressing the palms down flexing the foot underneath and reaching up for the cobra stretch and sit back for the child's resting pose Alright, I really hope you're sticking along with me. Let's get to the sides. These moves really tones the body in a different level and I'm really sure you're going to enjoy this. Resting on your right hand and your right knee, get into the position. You can place your hand right behind your head or on your hips. Point the left toes underneath and we're going to lift the leg up and down. Great waist work here, also working for toning your legs. And now reaching the right hand up to the sky, we're going to go in for the internal rotation. Rotate your trunk, reaching the hand down and back to the sky. So reach your hand as much as possible, lengthening for your body. Now 
Now hold on to your balance as you lift your leg and reaching the arm up to the sky. You're just gonna hold it here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Relax. Great work. And let's take the time to switch to the other side this time resting down for the left side and reaching and working up for the right take your hand right behind your head or on your hip that feels good and let's pulse the leg out up and down point the toes underneath that's really important that's when you're creating long lean leg muscles getting you that nice toned and chiseled look and now reach the arm out you're going to rotate the trunk and return back. Now just hold it up, lift your leg, gaze up to the sky. And just hold it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Great work. You have made it to the last leg for this class. I want you to sit to the center of the mat. We're going to be doing abs, something that many of us enjoy. You're going to tone the ab and burn the belly fat. I want you to sit in the V sit position. Take your hands right behind you for balance. And we're just going to march the legs out. Watch how I'm engaging my upper body. Keep it nice and stiff and keep exhaling out with your mouth. That's when you're getting that entire ab and core work. March your legs nice and stiff, getting stronger and toned. And now just fold your leg in for the butterfly stretch. Reach the arms out and fold yourself forward until you hear the next beep. And let's finish up the class with some lying down mat ab work. Get yourselves comfortable with your back down to the mat. Please make sure you keep your core engaged throughout. Pull the spine down to the mat. That's really important. No arching of the back. And lift your head and the shoulder blades off the mat. Your hands stay right next to your body. And you're just going to hold it here, exhaling out with your mouth engaging for the core activation hold it for the last five four exhale out to the mouth three two and one take your hands right behind you next move we're going to go in for crunches but with a twist i want you to lift and march your legs out as you crunch you're going to lift your leg alternating between the left and the right do not hold on to your breath For the next one i want you to tuck your hands right underneath your butt cheeks lift your legs up to the sky point the toes underneath and we're going to perform some lower ab toning we're going to go in for scissors you're going to scissor your legs down and reach it up and for this move i want you to please work at your very own angle if you feel your neck is straining or your back is arching please stop to that point do not get your legs down any further from there because that will cause back pain just work knowing your fitness and your strength levels because we all are different we all have different strength levels here great job quickly moving on to the next one we are going in for leg taps ankle taps raising your head and the shoulder blades off the mat hands stay right next to your body 
tap out your ankles reach down and working for the obliques working for the core your side muffin top region And for the next move, we're going to be doing an oblique work to work and tone your side region. Get your left leg over to the right leg so. Lift your heads off the mat. You can get hold of your head with your hand. You're going to twist, thrust the right hand out to the left side and drop down. Up, twist and down. Please breathe. Watch my breathing, exhale out with your mouth, do it nice, slow and precise. And switch this time, the right leg comes over the left, lifting yourselves up for the crunch and twisting as you thrust your left hand out to the right side you're doing great we have last five more of this keep pushing through Wonderful work. Those were some quick ab moves, but it really burns and targeting all the portions of your transverse abdominis. And let's move on to some pelvic bridges to finish up the class. I want you to raise your glutes up to the pelvic bridge and make sure you're in a straight line. Do not arch your back or dip your hips. Keep pressing your glutes up for five, four, three, two and one great work now the arms come right in front of your chest for the next move the last one i want you to dip your hips down as you take your arms over the head your arms and legs work in sync and take it nice and slow enjoying this last move for this class And for the last 10 seconds, I want you to just press out your glutes. Press, press, press. And relax. Let's finish up the class with some stretching and cool down. Pull your knees in towards your chest and just circle out your legs in one direction. Open and close. And now you're going to close and open, reversing the direction. Now for the glute stretch, place the right leg over to the left and try to grab your left thigh. Pull it in towards your body to feel the stretch on your outer thigh. And switch left goes over the right. And grab your right thigh, pull it in towards your chest to feel the beautiful stretch. Sleepy leg stretch, bend your knees, you're going to drop both your legs towards the left side, to the center and then to the right. Continue this as a flow, place your hands down to your belly button to have room for your legs. Beautiful massage for your lower and your mid back. And for the reclining butterfly stretch, I want your feet together, open your legs out and just hold it here, flapping your knees out for the groin and the inner thigh stretch. And one last final stretch to finish off as always, rewarding your body with a full body stretch. Extend your legs down into laser fingers and take it right over your head, giving yourself this beautiful stretch for all the work that you did in this 25 minute full body class.
well done everyone i really hope you enjoyed this class if you did do thumbs it up and leave me your thoughts in the comments below and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you so much for doing this along with me today until next time stay fit healthy and happy